first thing I did on this cake was to make the paint brushes and I just used a brown and a white and I, my brown had a few different browns kind of um, mixed together and it wasn't completely mixed so then I just um, snake it out together both colors the white and the browns and then once I snake it out I fold it back on itself twist it and roll it again and I keep repeating that process until it's got the right marbleization in it and then I can cut out the links that I need for my paintbrush and then once I cut it to size I'm gonna start shaping them so I'm gonna taper the edges and then I'm gonna put a little divot um, like a third of the way down to give it a little bit of the right shape of a paintbrush and then once I get it to where I want it I'm gonna grab some white and that kind of a thick chunk and I'm gonna make the bristles so when I make the bristles, I'm going to um, taper each of the edges and keep the middle thick and have the bottom edge um, a little bit thinner. Sorry about being out of frame when I was doing this process, but I just um, made the shape of the bristle and then I took a ball tool and put a little divot in it. That way I could slide it over the wooden part of the paintbrush and uh, form it to it so it's not, there's not a size difference. And then I just take the other end of the tool and create some lines in the end of the brush. And now I'm just rolling out a little bit of um, the same fondant I used for the handle of the paintbrush and cutting out a strip and then putting it around to cover up that seam from the, um, from the bristles to the, to the um, handle. And then I'm going to get some silver mixed with a little bit of alcohol. You can do vodka, whatever you have on hand, something clear. And um, mix that with the silver and then paint that piece. Now for the fun part. I just mixed up a batch of royal icing and I also cut out the letters of um, the name Harper and I cut it out of parchment paper and then with this particular icing it's the faux Italian buttercream that I got off of the Sugar Geek website and if you just set the parchment on there it just sticks. You don't have to adhere it with anything which is awesome. And then I take my royal icing, divvy it up, color it, and then water it down a little bit. That way I can sling it on the cake. This is honestly the, the best part. It's so fun. Um, and just do as many colors as you want or as little colors as you want and just fling them on. And I just uh, made that seven when I made the paintbrushes. That way it could dry and I could fix it on there. That way it would get the splatter as well and I just put a little dowel rod behind it and secured it with some icing. Now I'm just making sure the letters are well covered. That way I can chill it and then bring it back out and peel those letters off and hopefully it'll look awesome and it'll, you'll be able to see the letters very clearly. So I had to use my X-Acto knife and trim around the parchment because if I were to just pull the parchment, it would pull off big chunks of the royal and I did not want that. I wanted the definition of the letters. So it, it worked out perfect. I was really happy with the result. Um, if I was being nitpicky, I might have could have got a little bit more on this side of that R and then also a little bit on the H. But other than that, I think it came out awesome. Now I'm just using my finger and pressing any um, edges that are up around the letters down and placing my paintbrushes on. Thank you so much for watching.